Uh, anyway, Jackson, it's for you, sweetheart. It's Eminem. Eminem? It's Eminem. He wants to talk. I said, well, uh, <laughs> um, Mr. Marshall? Yeah, it's Eminem. Yes, sir. Now, so he said, Steve, he said, first of all, I just got to tell you, man, I'm such a fan of yours. You know what? You are. Who <laughs> knew? But he said, my uncle knew I was talking to you. That's out. Gosh, Marshall. <laughs> yeah, okay. And he said, I have been working on the song, and I've been writing a bunch of lyrics, and I've been using your music as an inspiration to write these, these lyrics. And I want to send you this song uh, and see if you approve of it. And I thought, man, that is so straight. That's such a great thing. You know, I've had Fly Like an Eagles been sampled 400 times, and nobody ever said anything to them. They just took the music. You know. So here's Marshall Matters calling up, and he said, uh, you know, I'm going to send it to you. You listen to it, and you tell me if you like it, and, and if you do, then we'll go ahead and do it. And if you don't like it, then we'll do it. And so he sent it to me by, uh, you know, uh, email. And the strangest thing, I could, I only had 10 minutes to listen to it, and it disappeared. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. We listened to it, and, and, and we said, let's, let's hear it again, and it was gone. <laughs> wow. So I called him back, and I said, you know, uh, Marshall, this sounds great. And I, I really appreciate you calling me and asking for permission to use my song. And, and my answer is absolutely yes. <laughs> and I said, not only that, but I'm going to send you the original tracks to Abracadabra, which is kind of like that when you try to do that. And I'm going to send you the vocal tracks. Those are called stems, all those stems, you know, all the different parts that went into make that single one. So I'm going to send it to you, you work on it, and have some fun. Two and a half days later, at 12.01 a.m., he released the single. Houdini. And, uh, you know, naturally we wanted to see what happened at 12 to 1, you know. And um, in the first 15 minutes, 60,000 people had watched the video. And by 10 o'clock the next morning, 6 million people had seen the video. And by the end of the week, 500 million people had streamed it all over the world. And I thought, well, you know, this is really far out because when I released Abracadabra, which, by the way, was the number one record in the world in 1982. Uh, 1982, what a great year, huh? And, and just so you know the difference between 1982 and 2024, when I gave the record to Capitol Records, my record company that I've been recording with, they said, well, we don't like it, and we don't think it, it, anything of this, and we're not going to spend any money advertising it. And I said, okay, great, I'm going to cancel my tour in America, and I'm going to go to Europe, where I worked with a different record company, and they had put it out. And when I got to Europe, it was number one all over Europe, in Russia, in Peru, just all over Europe. Except the United States and Japan, which, which I thought was really good. So we toured all summer in Europe. We came back, got back in September, did some touring, and Abracadabra started to catch on, and then it went to number one in the United States. And it took a year to do that. It took Eminem, Willie, 30 minutes. <laughs> That's the difference in technology and the way things work. So uh, I, I was just thrilled to do it. So I'm going to dedicate this to Eminem and his great body of music. And thank you for his integrity. I appreciate it very much. And uh, here's a little magic for you. <laughs> 